Hey lovies, welcome back. So today I am going to show you how I do a blowout um, on my hair. This has been a highly requested. I've gotten several requests, so I thought I'd go ahead and do it. I mean, I'm not really doing anything else. I'm quarantining. <laughs> Probably you are too. So, but one new thing that I have today that I'm going to use is this new Infinity Pro um, blow dryer. I've been seeing a lot of these, but by Revlon, and I don't know, the Revlon one seemed to be super huge to me when I looked at it in the store, so I thought I would try this. This is my first time trying it, so I'm going to do this with my blowout today. Normally, I use my um, Yellow Bird. I've had it forever and ever in a day, but today I'm going to try this, and so we're going to go ahead and get started, okay? So, let me just tell you, I went ahead and washed my hair and everything off camera. Um, what I used to do... Um, a blowout is I always use a clarifying shampoo first. Today I use the um, Aunt Jackie's Power Wash. <laughs> I use that today because this doesn't leave my hair extremely dry when I'm finished, but it is really, really clean. Okay, so I use that. I used a the Pantene. I don't know if you guys have seen this. I'm going to do a review on these probably later on, but this is the um, Nutrient Blends. It's a new line, kind of new. I think they came out. So I used this shampoo after the um, clarifying shampoo, and then I went in with a quick rinse out. They're quick rinse out. Um, and then I did a deep condition. I always do a deep condition um, before I blow, do a blowout. And I used the L'Oreal uh, Revive, Elive, Evive. I don't know, whatever. Anyway, I use this and I always put this on my ends. Um, I think it helps, you know, like with the dryness and everything of my ends, especially if they need to be trimmed, which I did a trim, I don't know, probably about a month ago, but I really rushed through it and, and take my time. So anyway, I'm also going to be using this today um, just a little bit. So let me go ahead and get it sectioned off. I always um, section it in. Four, just because I find that it's easier. You know, I wash my hair this way too. I wash it. Um, I wash my hair with a part down the middle, and I wash one side, and then I wash the other side. I just find that it helps me with detangling because my hair can get really tangly. So I'm just going to spray this. Just put a little bit of this, not much, because I know we don't do anything too much, because um, I think with the blowout, you shouldn't put, well, I can't say you shouldn't, but I don't, because I don't like my hair way down. I like it nice and flowy. So I'm just using just a little bit. I'm just going to rub it through, not too much. Okay, I'm going to put that all over. And then we'll just detangle, which is really good and detangled already, but... I'm going to just go ahead and comb through it and get it ready for each section. Yeah, so I'm really excited to try this blow dryer. I just wanted to come on real quick. I'm going to do a voiceover on it though because it's probably going to be really loud. So on the blow drying part, I will do a voiceover on it. Um, oops. This smells really good, by the way. This right here is almost like, if you ever use the It's a 10, it's very similar to that. So, I don't know if you to use it or not. Well, like I said, I'm just putting just a little bit, sort of as a leave-in. And this is supposed to help with, like, detangling and all that good stuff. But I'm using just a little bit. Not much at all. Just sparingly. It smells so divine. Okay, so we'll pin that side up. And we're going to split this this half down the middle of this side. So I'm finding that while I'm quarantining, I've just been trying to you know, just have a blowout, you know, make make my life a little easier around here. Um, so, yeah, I just kind of been doing that and wearing buns. Just keeping my hair, more, you know, moisturized. 
just makes my life easier. All right, we'll pin that side up. And we're going to put a little bit on this last section. I just want to say I hope everybody's doing well in these quarantine times. I hope everybody's staying safe and out of harm's way, adhering to the guidelines that they give us. Um, for those who are quarantining, and I'm thankful for the ones who are risking their lives every day on the front lines out there, especially the the healthcare workers and nurses and doctors. You know, I have to walk away from the TV every now and then because it makes me really sad to see all the lives that have been lost and people who have been touched by this coronavirus situation. Okay, so I'm going to pin that side up. Now, the only thing that I spray normally in my hair is this oldie but goodie. This is the Silk Elements um, heat protectant spray. Um, it has olive oil in it. I have used this, used this really forever. Even when I was relaxed, I used this um, during flat out of my hair and blow drying it out. So this is what I'm going to be spraying throughout my hair. And then we're going to hook this Conair Infinity Pro up and see what it does. Okay, so I'm going to start with the back. I always blow dry to in very, in, you know, not well, not very small sections, but you know, in small sections because I find that that just makes it easier. And, and my hair is so thick. Um, sorry, yeah, I'm looking at my mirror. My hair is so thick; it just uh, helps me be able to make sure that I'm getting everything dry down in there. So I'm just gonna split this section. That back section. Okay. And then I'm just gonna do my hands are wet. I gotta my hands off real quick. I'm just gonna whoop. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna spread my hands are wet. <laughs> just spray a little bit, really get those ends. And then I'm just going to brush it through. You, the one thing you want to do when you're blow drying hair is you want to make sure your hair is good and detangled before you start this blow dry process. So you don't pull your hair out. And plus make it really hard for yourself. Okay, so we are going to turn it on. Let me just tell you real quick that it has um, a cool high, low and off setting. Okay, and how I'm going to use this is normally what I do is I do the tension method is what they call it. Um, I hold my hair with a nice grip and just hold it down and, just, and then just let the air from the blow dryer just kind of go back and forth until it's gotten pretty dry and then go through the hair. Okay, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to just go in for the high setting. Let's see what happens. And after I start it... <laughs> I'll probably go straight into, um, you know, turn it down. So you'll just, I'll be coming back and, and do a voice over on it, okay? All right, so let's see what it does. Here we go. Okay, as you'll notice right here, I'm just taking my time. Um, I always start with the ends first. Um, I find that I want to try to get my ends as straight as I can. Um, so yeah, just take your time. And go through it. And I'm just showing you. Um, it's really a lightweight dryer. Um, it's doing okay. Let's see? I'm like, oh, okay. I 
Look at those ends. Yes, yes, that looks good. Okay, so I'm gonna let you just watch me um, go through. After I go through each section, like I said, I spray a little of the Silk Elements heat protectant and brush through and then just keep going. So I'll be back in a minute. I just want to say real quick too, in this video when you speed it up, it looks like you're being really, really rough with your hair. Or it may look like I am, but I'm really not. This this dryer is just like pretty much brushing your hair. Um, so, just thought I'd let's share that little bit with you. And I just want to say I can't stress enough, you want to be sure you detangle your hair good before you start going through it with the dryer. You do not want to pull your hair out. I was really getting excited <laughs> I was getting excited because normally I use my yellow bird um, and uh, that has a comb attachment and it does it does pretty well it's been my old faithful um, but sometimes I'll take it off and do some concentrated heat and use a paddle brush um, with the other attachment that I have on the yellow bird so I'm just excited about this dryer because it it cuts down on me doing a little bit more work you know and it's really fast this video may seem long but the process may have been 15 minutes and then look at the shine on my hair
I had my fan on because it was so hot, so I had to get up and turn it off. So that's what I was doing a few minutes ago. Y'all see that pretty gray strand? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I do have one or two. I'm okay with it. I really, really try to concentrate on my ends um, as far as like the heat protecting. I mean, I want it all over my hair, but the, the ends are normally the driest part of my hair for me. Um, and for most naturals, I think, because that's the oldest part of your hair. Um, so I try to make sure that those are good and moisturized um, to prevent breakage. Um, and I did actually cut off about almost three inches when I did a trim about a month ago. Um, I just said down and, di and um, did it myself I'll eventually do a video and showing you how I trim it um, it's just really time consuming and so I have to get up the patience to do it myself when I don't go to a professional to get it done I do do that maybe once a year but for the most part I trim it myself Yeah, I'm dancing because I'm happy. Like, yes. <laughs> I'm just showing you the shrinkage is real. And it's still really still. I mean, after I straighten it, if I decide to do that, I'm thinking about doing um, a video. And I may go ahead and do it because I got a new flat iron, um, the Sedu, S-E-D-U. I've seen the Glam Twins use that forever. And I got my hands on one for a really, really good price. So I may test it out and see and go ahead and straighten my hair. Let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see me um, do that straightening routine. And I'll try to get that um, video up for you guys. Okay, so basically I'm just going to continue to, you know, go through it and, and blow dry it. Um, you'll see when I get closer to the end, I'll do my part down the middle and I'll go back through it. But I'll go back through it on the cool setting. I always go back through my hair on the cool setting and cool everything down. So, and then that'll be it. So I'm going to let you guys just enjoy the rest of the video. Thanks so much for joining me in this little tutorial today. Um, I hope it's helpful to you. If you have any questions, just let me know. Enjoy the rest of the video.
Okay, you guys, listen. I really, really love this blow dryer. It's very lightweight. Um, I was just trying to look in here to see if there was any hair. It's just a couple little strands, you know, so it was, and it's really, really lightweight. Um, this, I, I picked it up from Target and it was like $29. So, I mean, I really love it. Um, it makes it a lot easier for me, especially because I have really, really thick hair. So... Yeah, I mean, I can't say all the products and things that I use today is just my opinions on what I love and what works for me. Um, feel free to try it out. Let me know if you try it out and you like it. Come back and let me know. Um, but this is the quick blow dry. Um, my quick blow dry routine um, with just a couple new products that I tried, which was the shampoo um, by Pantene and um, this newbie right here. So I really like it. So what do you guys think? Let me turn around so you can see. Looks good. Yeah. I think it did pretty good. I love. I love. So yeah, the only thing I'll do is when I get ready to flat iron it, I will probably add a little bit of more heat protectant um, if I decide to flat iron it. But other than that, this is it. So if you guys have not subscribed to my channel, please, 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 please subscribe and come back and see me and join my family here. I'm trying to get on a roll here on YouTube and, um, and give you things that you want to see. So if there's something you like to see or a product you'd like me to review or whatever, please comment down in the um, comments and let me know or shoot me an email. Okay, all right, you guys stay safe and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I just want to just, I wanted to pop back in and let you know that it's only 600 watts, so it's not a powerful dryer. Um, it's not super, super hot, but it gets the job done. Um, and so I think I like it for those reasons because I don't really like to put high, high heat on my hair, especially when I know I'm going to um, straighten it or flat iron it. So, and I never like my hair to be um, blow dried almost bone straight anyway so I think for that purpose it serves um it works it will work well for me so but I just want to let you know that yes yeah, only 600 watts so it's not a powerful it doesn't um blow out strong heat um so if you notice in the video I was you know going through a couple times but um it wasn't really hot 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 so I think um you know after a few passes going through a lot of people freak out about going through your hair so many passes, but the heat is not super hot um, and it's not a very powerful blow dryer. So I just wanted to let you know that um, if you decide to, you know, to check it out. I'll link everything down in the description, of course. And so, yeah. So just let me know what you guys think if you decide to try it. All right.